Remember when we used to talk about a distributed workforce as something that only a few of us could really relate to? Well, WebEx Control Hub can pinpoint quality issues, self-diagnose adoption challenges, and take actions to improve the user experience. And this has never been more important than now. Uh, they've made a few improvements on these pages that I want to share with you. Redesigned pages, now using real-time data on a 10-minute refresh cycle. Charts and graphs that visualize all your important metrics like user adoption, QoS meeting trends, and, and device utilization. Valuable analytics that you cannot get anywhere else. And so what I've done is i put a little series together on WebEx meeting analytics covering three areas that I say or I think exemplify why WebEx is considered enterprise grade. And these three are quality participants and engagement. You're going to see these in the hub. But let's start with quality. This leaderboard here gives us a quick summary insights for IT to investigate further. These are great for kind of quick bubble up things that should be addressed. Make sure this is set for the right time frame, of course. And here we can see the big totals, of course, meeting and minutes. But check out these new KPIs. Media or media minutes, media being short for the combination of audio and video. This is media minutes with good quality, which is a percentage of voice and video that was deemed as good quality. And also note, it's trending up. Voice and video specifics are still shown in light gray, so you can see those broken out. And then participants with good media quality and average join meeting time, which is how smoothly are we getting into the meetings because smooth meeting starts equal happy users. Now these filters have been redesigned so you can quickly drill into problem areas. VoIP or voice over IP refers to your audio quality. VoIP quality by participants, for example, categorizes these into good, fair, and poor. Now these are based on packet loss and latency during each minute of every meeting. And you can also filter these geographically as well. This same information can also be seen in time series trending charts. These graphs show the correlation between various quality indicators, such as the protocol, UDP or TCP, the connection method, Ethernet, Wi-Fi, cellular, and the platform, Windows, Mac, Android, and don't forget the web app. You can see all of it. Similar trending charts also showcase things like how long it takes to join a meeting, where user counts are subdivided between new or returning users and even users that just received a software update. And finally, here at the bottom, it's kind of a worst offenders list or repeat offenders list where you can directly launch into troubleshooting with just a click. Well, these summary statistics and pie charts are great for providing quick updates to management and others whenever you need. And I know a lot of you like to do that. And so that is a quick look at quality, one of our three updated meeting analytics pages in this mini series that I want to share. So be sure and check for participants and engagement to learn about all the changes there as well. Links to more information can be found below the video. Thanks for watching.